Hello, in the following video we're going to see how to create columns with Visual Arc and how to work with them. So, first of all, we will put the construction plane on that level minus one because we're going to insert a column to hold this balcony. To insert a column, you have to run the column command that you can find up there on this icon. And this opens the insertion dialog which displays a list of existing styles. And each style comes with a list of predefined sizes. So we select one of these sizes, the other insertion parameters such as the alignment or the height that we will leave by a style, and we insert the columns. We have to first define the insertion point and then the orientation. Once a column has been inserted, we can change its parameters from the Object Properties panel. Here, under the column icon, we can see all the parameters related to this column object. So we can change the style, we can change the head, and Within the same style, we can change the existing size by another one. Also, we can change alignment, etc. Now, we are going to see how to create new column styles. So, we'll do right click on the column icon to open the styles dialog for the column object and we will click new style to open the new style wizard so we will call it custom column and we click next to define the other parameters so we can select the profile of this style the sizes and if it has or doesn't have coating we can also select the option to assign custom block for this object, we will see now. So this is my new column style, I click on finish and I can see the new style at the end of this list. Now we can change this column style by the one we have created now. If you have a look at the top viewport and see how this column looks like from the top we're going to select this level minus one and activate the cut plane. We can see that when the columns intersect with walls, the intersection is created. Okay, and the same if we add a coating component to this column. So back to the column styles, we select this style and we're going to add here a coating component. So we specify some thickness and click apply to see the changes. As you can see, the coating stops where the wall starts. So let's put the column back there and put the model from the viewport. Now we are going to see how to create columns from custom blocks. So in this case we're going to edit this column style and replacing it by a block that we're going to create now. So I have already some geometry here under that layer. And I basically have some 3D geometry and a 2D geometry that uh, I will use to create two different blocks for the column style representation. So first of all, I create a block for the 3D representation and define one insertion point. I give a name to this block like custom column 3D for example and click OK. And I'm going to create another block for this 2D representation. So again I create the block, I select this geometry and the same insertion point as the 3D block. custom column 2D. The 
So now back to the column style dialog. I'm going to select this custom column and from the blocks tab I'm going to sign this block we have just created. So we'll look for it here and click OK. And as you can see the column was replaced. So I could insert now new columns like that. in my model. If I see that from the top viewport, I see that now the column takes the real section representation. But if I select the 2D representation of the block we created before, this real section will be replaced by the block we created.